Welcome to the Geospatial Intelligence Podcast. My name is Aybars Östuna and I'm the founder and CEO of Geospatial Intelligence Institute and Master of Science in Geospatial Intelligence candidate at the Johns Hopkins University. Geospatial intelligence, an emerging field. We'll be talking everything about it. Let's begin. GIS in Behavioral Sciences It isn't a secret that geospatial technology is being widely used in social science as well as behavioral science research. The utilization of GIS in behavioral sciences is done in order to carry out an examination of a variety of issues taking place in a social setup that tend to affect people's or certain group's social behaviors, such as commuting patterns or behavior, residential segregation, the establishment of the class system, people's access to urban facilities, the spatial mismatch between jobs and housing, spatial patterns of crime, activity travel behavior, spatial inequality in health behaviors and outcomes, political redistricting, substance use behavior, and many more. Furthermore, the current advancements that have been introduced in GIS and its enhanced usage of geospatial technologies for the purpose of collecting and analyzing high-resolution space-time data, such as real-time sensing, GPS tracking, and LIDAR, have provided numerous opportunities for unearthing new insights into the emerging issues. There have been numerous studies conducted on behavioral sciences and the behavioral patterns of groups in which geospatial methods are heavily used. These geospatial methods include geo-AI and geovisualization, which have been extended to other areas of behavioral science beyond the traditional spatial framework of fixed area units, such as census tracts and the static temporal framework to investigate a variety of issues in social and behavioral science research. Geospatial technology or geospatial sciences are used in the studies conducted on issues persisting in the social and behavioral sciences. The application of GIS in these behavioral studies has equipped scientists with new insights through the yielding of much more efficient and effective data The conducted studies are not just limited to the development and application of newly introduced analytical frameworks, approaches, and methods, but also to other social behavior patterns to solve issues in a social setup on a larger scale. These studies also include the analytical collection of individualistic data with geospatial technologies and innovative development methods used in the analysis of complicated spatio-temporal data. GIS also provides assistance in examining dynamic geographic contexts that influence individual social phenomena and behavioral patterns. GIS in biology. Similar to the application of GIS technology in other fields throughout the globe, it can also be used in numerous fields of biology. Biological science is a broad discipline with numerous divisions and subcategories. Geospatial science is a newly developing science that has already made its way to being utilized in some of the major biological fields such as evolutionary biology, marine biology, the tracking of certain chipped animals throughout African regions, and many more. GIS in evolutionary biology and ecology. There are numerous evolutionary processes that are influenced by environmental variation that comes with space and time, such as genetic divergence in populations, evolutionary changes in morphology, physiology, and behaviorology, as well as speciation. Biologists 
are still dedicated to conducting several research and study projects on the further utilization of GIS in evolutionary biology, which can transform the entire biological field significantly. For example, studies of phylogeography using GIS-based environmental data coupled with advanced special tools tend to transform evolutionary studies which can further unveil new insights into the ecological reasons behind evolutionary patterns. GIS in marine biology. GIS applications have made it easy for marine biologists to conduct studies on different marine species that are found deep within the ocean. Prior to the application of GIS technology and sensor imaging applications, it was difficult for marine biologists to locate a certain part of an entire ocean in order to find the species they conducted their studies on. It has also led to various marine biologists succumbing to their passion for studying marine life and phenomena. With the utilization of GIS applications, it is now easy for marine biologists to keep track of their subjects for their research or studies. They can now use image sensing technology to get to the area where they can find their study subject, which, which can be marine animals or microorganisms. Tracing certain marine animals has become much easier through the application of GIS, as has the invention of new species that reside deep inside the ocean which is an underwater area that has previously been much more difficult to access. Similarly, GIS is used to track land animals and keep track of endangered species that are on the verge of extinction. It has helped biologists preserve nature much more effectively than ever before. If you would like to have a variety of sources, feel free to follow Geospatial Intelligence Institute dot org that is geospatial intelligence dot org my name is Ivar Sustuna and this is the geospatial intelligence podcast